Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, from what I know, this mission is supposed to be different than most, because we're actually supposed to save someone's ass, and not kill someone. So that is unique. That will be our target. But I think that this is the guy that we're supposed to protect? No. There's Lorenzo and his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. But where is Francesco? There he That's is. That's the son of a bitch we're supposed to kill. Crepa! Traditore! Giuliano! No! No! In nome di Dio! Vi sconjuro, pietà! That was a legit fucking ambush, but honestly. He's hella difficult to kill, just took a knife to his throat and he didn't really care about it. He had to get stabbed like 40 times before he died. Your day is done, Lorenzo! Your entire family dies by my sword! You wish. Alright, let's start off with the sword. Just to reduce the number of opponents. And we're also supposed to save his ass. Because just fighting a lot of opponents is not tough enough. We also cannot let him die. Obviously I cannot kill him like this. Perfect. I can assassinate this one because he doesn't give a fuck about me. Just like this one and this one might work as well. It kinda did. Counter attack. Perfect. And another counter attack. And only one left. Fuck. 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 Shit. All right, that's not gonna work. Let's just do this. It's gonna be more effective. Seriously, he knows how to dodge. Why is he running away? I guess I'm supposed to let him go. Why? I'm not sure. I was supposed to kill him, but whatever. You saved my life. It's nothing. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah, not now. I need help first. To my home. Uh, people I trust there. Can you... Ah. This way. I'm losing a lot of blood. I, want no part I, of I don't give a fuck about your blood. I'm moving as fast as I can. I want to bribe. Ah, I cannot bribe him anymore. I wanted to reduce my notoriety because that would help in the future. Because for now it doesn't really matter. They'll be erased. heavy signore. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. Ah shit. We're almost there now. Okay, where's the entrance? Is it here? Yeah, this is it. But I guess I'll have to kill all of them before I get there. Unless it's gonna be good enough for me to enter it. Let's just kill this one, Falling. and let's try. Follow my. It was good enough. All right. Lorenzo has been wounded. Aprite la porta. What's the password, Polizia? 
Open the maledetta porta. By the Christ, Gratis, come in quickly. The city That's is an interesting war. password. Hurry. Open the fucking door. Obviously, that wasn't the password. Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh, Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. With pleasure. With pleasure. He was already on my list. Signori, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! But why did I get him... Why did I let him... Ah, uh, fucking hell. Why did I let him walk away? I could kill him there. When I was saving his ass. Bring me your sick and wounded. But instead of that I just kinda let him go and... Now I'll have to climb all the way up there to kill him. Wait a second, he's not up there. He's somewhere else. <laughs> can I bribe him right now? I should be able to. Yeah, I can bribe him. And let's get my money back. Perfect. Where's the fuck sucker? He should be on this building. At least that's what it looks like. No, that's my viewpoint. He's somewhere else. You again! There he is. You dead? Men, slaughter him! Okay. Ah oh, shit. I didn't really mean to do that. That's the prison where I visited my family before they died. So I already know the way. You die this day, dog. How many do I have to kill before they give up? Two of them, two of them already gave up. But not the archer. Faster, faster, merda. That was weird. But whatever. Oh, the boy thinks himself a master swordsman. Alright, this level. There's a cutscene already. No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! Ah, shit. Why is he on the ground? Did I assassinate him already? But he's glitched? That might be the reason. Ah, shit. Let's find out. Can I kill him? No. Alright, whatever. At least he wasn't running when I was fighting these guys up there. Because if he would be, then I would never catch him. Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over.
Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. Francesco? That's a nice show, I have to admit. Another sequence complete. There's gonna be a white screen? Why? Am I gonna leave animals or what? No, but, the, but it has to reload for some reason. But I also noticed that there is a crypt marked on the map. So I think that I'm gonna go there right, right now. How far away is it? Alright, it's too far away. The quest is a lot closer. When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I walked to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei. Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene, I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait, before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. Alright, so I got the Codex page. Obviously, I killed the member of. I almost said the member of the Order just because I was used to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but I killed the Templar, so obviously, I got a Codex page. Jacopo di Pazzi. The money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally. So he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli. Brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day, and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. 
it was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. Okay, so where's that crypt? Unless I'm supposed to do something else in the city. I am, but the crypt, the crypt is as far away as the quest, so let's go there first. Let's see if it's gonna be different than the previous one. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be the same, but let's see if the pattern is gonna be different. And what's it gonna be about? I have some money in the villa, I will have to collect it. I think I can get like a thousand more before Claudia is gonna start taking my money. Or maybe two more. Yeah, I think I can have four thousand like right now in the stress before it's gonna be full. And since I have some money, I can upgrade it even more. Di Grazia, stay away from the artwork on the walls. And when your men paint the dome, take care not to disturb any of the sacred relics in the lanterna on top. They are the most important artifacts in our church. Yes, yes, Padre. Just make sure to pay us the full sum for our work. So this script is gonna be different. It's above ground level. Okay, there was already a hint that I have to go here. So let's go up and try to figure it out. How far up can I go? I think this high should be good enough. I can jump here and there. And now where? I guess here. On these chandeliers. And this is kind of a checkpoint. Ben, in case I'm gonna fall the fuck I down, I can just... In case I fall. Yep. Exactly what he said. If I'm gonna fall the fuck down, I can climb back up. Now I have to go this way. Okay, I guess it's gonna be above ground level the, the entire time, so this, this script is completely different. Most of them are underground. I mean, it's a crypt, so obviously it should be underground. But apparently this one's gonna be different. Luckily for me, these chandeliers are hella durable, and I can just walk on them. Another checkpoint. Let's try not to fuck it up now. That wasn't very secure, I have to say. I just jumped down on a board and the ladder just fell. Now that's a bigger area. Yeah, this crypt is very high up.
And I think that I have to go here. Or not? Yeah, I have to go here. And now where? There. And now on this platform. Now let's try to figure it out. Ah, there's nothing to figure out. It is extremely simple. Alright. Okay. I would like to have a checkpoint already. It's about to fall down, like right now. It will take me a very long time to get the bug up here. How am I supposed to get up there? Oh, seriously? Just didn't jump previously. <laughs> but honestly, you have to be hella fucking good in parkour to just land on a board <laughs> like this and not fall down. Wrong side of the ladder, obviously. Okay. So far, so good. Oh fuck! That was... that was close. Oh shit. Alright, at least the camera is not at a weird angle, so... It's not gonna be that difficult. As I hope so. Now it's at a weird angle. Alright, not anymore. Alright, I'm already here. Let's just loot the smaller chests to get some more money. And then the coffin. And magically the window opened. Just like this. Two out of six already. Is there a vantage point? There isn't. That is kind of surprising. Because that's a very tall building. But screw it. If there isn't one, there just isn't one. There is one on this tower, but I cannot climb it right now. At least I don't think I can. 
even more chests. But they're not as good. But they're not as good. Only 100. Still better than nothing. Where is the haystack? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Seriously? It really has to do that. But that is exactly what I said. He's no longer glued to the surface of the edge. He can actually fall down. I mean, it kind of worked. I'm already on the ground level and not up there. Healing services for all the gods. So I'm supposed to be the Leonardo. Ezio, thank God you're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi, is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city is safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha, it's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. I see. It's another blade design. For delivering poison. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the... It's alright, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. Yeah, right. I can co I can poison people in this game. I never really All done. Ah, fucking I feel your blade I never really poison used it. to start with. Should you run out? Just visit a doctor. Poison from a doctor in high enough doses that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime. I don't really use that a lot. It's not very useful for me, but it is an option in this game. So, where's the next quest? Not in the city. Okay. Can I fast travel from here? I can, it's not very far away. Awesome. But where do I have to go? Back to the villa? Montregion, yeah. Okay, it's only 100. So I can afford it without the fucking problem and the game just crashed. Awesome, fuck yeah. Alright, but I'm recording for 28 minutes already, so hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next one.